Magandang umaga, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to DOS TV, the channel that delivers science for the people. Huling araw na ng aming exclusive coverage ng Mindanao Regional Scientific Meeting dito sa Davao City. Abangan ang aming panayam kay DOST Undersecretary Brenda Nazareth Manzano maya maya lamang. Samantala, alamin muna natin ang lagay ng panahon sa araw na ito mula sa DOST Pag-asa dito sa aming weather update. Magandang umaga si Yogel. Magandang umaga po sa lahat ng taga-subaybay ng DOS-TV. Kasalukuyan ay uh, magandang panahon sa buong bansa at di tayo naapektuhan ng amihan. Easterlies, ito yung mainit na hangin galing sa Pacific Ocean kung saan naapektuhan ng ating buong bansa. At yung makikita na kakaunti ang mga kaulapan dito sa ating bansa. Lalo, mo, lalo na po dito sa Luzon at sa Mindanao. At walang halos kaulapan dito sa bandang uh, Southern Luzon. Kaya sa araw nito, inaasahan natin na mainit na panahon sa buong bansa. At uh, asahan pa rin natin na magiging bahagya, maulap, hanggang sa maulap na kalangitan na may mga isolated na mga pagulan or thunderstorm. Wala man tayong binabantayang low pressure area o bagyo sa loob ng Philippine Area of Responsibility. Sa susunod na ng tatlong araw, bukas, linggo at sa lunes, ay asam pa rin natin na magandang panahon. Magbabalik si Amihan, maaari po sa linggo o sa lunes. Kaya sa dito sa Metro Manila, sa susunod ng tatlong araw, maganda ang panahon, maliba lang po sa mga isolated na mga pagulan or thunderstorm. Ang agwat ng temperatura sa Metro Manila ay mula 24 o 25 hanggang 33 o 34 degrees Celsius. 34 degrees Celsius, inaasam po natin na bukas, at bahagyang uh, bababa ang temperatura dahil sa inaasahan po natin pagdating ng amihan. Sa Baguio City, asahan pa rin natin na magiging uh, maganda ang panahon maliba lang sa mga isolated na mga pagulan or thunderstorm. Ang agwat ng temperatura sa Baguio City ay mula 14 o 15 hanggang 25 o 24 degrees Celsius. Sa Metro Cebu, Ganun pa rin, asahan pa rin natin na maging tapanahon maliban sa mga isolated mga pagulan or thunderstorm. Ang agwat ng temperatura sa Metro Cebu ay mula 24 o 25 hanggang 32 degrees Celsius. Sa Metro Dabao, ganun pa rin, magandang panahon maliban sa mga isolated mga pagulan or thunderstorm. Ang agwat ng temperatura sa Metro Dabao ay mula 24 hanggang 34 degrees Celsius. Bukas po yan at sa mga susunod ng araw sa linggo at lunes ay aabot hanggang 33 degrees Celsius. Maya pong hapon ay inaasahan po natin ng araw lulubog sa ganap na 6.07 ng hapon. I-like at i-follow ang ating uh, official social media, uh, media account ng Pag-asa dito sa Twitter, Facebook at sa YouTube. At bisitahin ang ating website, www.pagasa.dusd.gov.ph. Mula sa Pagasa Weather Forecasting Section, ako po sa Alzardi Aurelio.
fun exclusive content na dito niya lang sa DOSTV makikita. Here's our flood and water level advisory. Maraming salamat, Ms. Jell, at magandang umaga sa mga viewers ng DOS-TV. Dam update po muna tayo sa mga monitor nating major dams. Kaninang alas 6 ng umaga ay nagtala po tayo ng mga pagbaba sa mga level ng tubig sa mga major dams na monitor natin sa Luzon. Simulan po natin sa Angat Dam, bumaba po ito ng 0.48 meters dahil nagtala po tayo ng 203.79 meters ngayon. Pumunta po tayo sa San Roque Dam. Nagtala po tayo ng 264.22 meters. Bumaba po ito ng 0.55 meters kumpara sa kahapon. Samantala, sa Pandabangan Dam, mayroon po tayong 194.81 meters. Bumaba po siya ng 0.20 meters kumpara sa tala natin sa nakalipas na 24 oras. At panghuli ang Amagat Dam. Nagtala po tayo ng 185.98 meters. Bumaba po siya ng 0.49 meters kumpara sa kahapon. Samantala, wala po tayong inisyo na General Flood Advisory sa araw na ito. Yan muna ang latest gel mula sa Flood Forecasting and Warning Section ng Pag-asa. Ronaldin Makalalad, naguulat. Ang pagdiriwang ng annual scientific meeting ngayong taon is in line with the thrust of the current administration sa pagdadala ng agham at teknolohiya sa mga rehiyon kung saan ang produksyon ng pagkain at inobasyon ay kailangang paigtingin at paunlarin. Nararapat lamang na ang mga programang katulad nito ay hindi lang sa kamay nila ang dalhin, kundi maging sa countryside. At upang ibahagi sa atin ang kahalagahan nito, makakausap po natin ang Undersecretary for Regional Operations ng Department of Science and Technology, Undersecretary Brenda Nazareth Manzano. Good morning, ma'am. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Jem. Ayan. Ano masabi natin, ma'am, na ngayon, sabi nga natin, nadadala na sa mga rehiyon itong mga scientific meeting? We're very happy, no, at, at nabigyan pansin ang mga uh, rehiyon natin ngayon. Um, it has been conducted yung annual uh, scientific meeting lagi lang sa Manila sa Manila Hotel and this time first of its kind I think is nandito ngayon sa Mindanao and we're very happy especially ngayon ang team ay on fisheries ang daming and diba we are a country na mas maraming tubig kesa sa land so it's really about time that we you know give focus also on the fishery sector which is aptly the theme of uh, this year's um, uh, annual meeting, scientific meeting ng NAST. And ang ganda nga kasi nag-start dito sa Mindanao. I understand from Mindanao they will be going to Cebu and then to um, Baguio for the Luzon area. Gano kahalaga yung nakikita nating uh, importance nito pagdating sa mga pagpapabot natin talaga na mensahe sa, sa bawat rehiyon? Diba ang sabi ng ating present uh, administration is to reduce inequality and to really bring down the benefits of science and technology down to the countryside. So this is one way, this is one measure that we're really uh, walking our talk. You know? So it's really great that... Um, all sabi ka, kanina nga kausap ko isang private sector taga Sambuanga ang sabi niya it, it was only now that he realized ang dami pa lang mga ganitong researches um, that they in the private sector can can benefit from it's just that of course it can be too expensive to put it in all regions no while ngayon one for Mindanao, one for Visayas, and but that's good. That's good enough, because we're really bringing down uh, science and technology down to the countryside, because it's through through science and technology that our countryside can develop well. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also looking through an innovation-driven economy for our countryside. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, SNT is a great player for that. Sana nga ma'am, di ba siyempre alam natin yung mga nasa countryside, eto lang nasa kanila na yung mga resources na nakikita natin. Kailangan lang ma-implement din yung ating mga researches ng ikanga. And then aside from this scientific meeting, ano pa yung mga nakaline up nating na mga proyekto for the regions? Uh, well, 
of course, we already, uh, I think in the presentation, uh, si Director Al presented the various programs yes. ng department. But I would just like to highlight something new okay. that we're going to um, implement um, this coming year and onwards. Uh, this is what we call the DOST Assist. It's an appropriate support for startups through innovation, science, and technology. So ang goal dito is to help would-be entrepreneurs or um, mga startups in, uh, you know, if they have some idea uh, that they want to start with, um, through the program, we would be able to help them, no, like get their equipment and link them to, um, well, a micro-lending facility. So, kasi yun talaga ang problema ng mga startups and even the would-be entrepreneurs. Probably, they may have the idea, but they might uh, short of cash and financial. So, um, that's why we're starting with this kind of a program on top of our setup. And, and, uh, we're also very um, excited with yung mga, yung sa Science for Change because yung ating regions will also play a very, very active role, especially in uh, the establishments of um, NICER, the niche um, innovation centers in the region. So we will be um, upgrading the R&D and innovation capacity ng ating mga research institutions institutions in the region or yung mga uh, SUCs natin to really uh, make them very active and really build up their capability in innovation and research and development. So, ang, ang program really will be going down sa regions, giving, giving uh, well, if not really importance, but really uh, highlighting that there are opportunities down in the regions, both from resources, natural and human resources, that you, you can just tap and really, you know, uh, make science really work for for the betterment of the the region. Kailangan talaga din ang suporta din naman. Of course, ang government nandito handa tumulong para sa kanila. Government, uh, tayo and other uh, national line agencies also would be um, greatly supporting all these uh, endeavors. And of course, siempre we have a president who really has his heart in the right place and really for the people in the countryside. Mm -hmm. It's really about time that we, sabi nga, uh, reduce inequality. Hindi mm -hmm. nga lang niya sinasabing reduce poverty, but yun na lang, reduce inequality in, in, in our lives. No? tayo magkaisa, hindi ba? At syempre, ma'am, kayo bilang isang dating director ng Region 9, yeah. di ba? Kamusta ang industriya ng, ng fisheries dito? Ang uh, Region 9, yung, uh, yeah, you, I think you know that we're rich also in uh, fishery resources. We have, I think we have more than 11 canning factories. Yung mga ini, kinakain ninyong sardinas? Nasa Maynila. Uh, sa Maynila, galing sa amin po yan. <laughs> I mean, either yung iba dyan, nagpapatol pa. So, we have a big industry in uh, uh, sardines canning. And then, we also have a big industry for bottled sardines. That's also in uh, Dipolog. That's part of Region 9. And as, on top of that, yung mga seaweeds, on, uh, yung mga octopus, yung mga, yung mga abalone, and... I tell you, we have really rich resource from a marine and uh, aquamarine uh, resources mm -hmm. that I would say uh, not a top, but I think relatively I still I know uh, bountiful and and uh, but uh, well of course the people there are also very conscious. Now you have to make sure that your resources will last so oh, na hindi inexploit you know that's why yung yung uh, work ng academic institutions ng DOST in preserving and ensuring that the the 
the resources will 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 stay there for uh, no, no is is talagang given priority mm -hmm. Yan, sabi nyo nga, sustainability, at sana mapalawak pa natin, maximize natin itong mga resources natin. Pero may mga proyekto pa ba tayo naka-line up or naiisip para mas maging secured pa itong uh, pagdating sa ating food security? Sa ating, oh well, uh, we're working, sa well, uh -oh, sa mga regions of course, mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, what they call this, working closely with DA for the, uh, for, uh, the food production, with um, what they call this fisheries, the Bureau of Fisheries yeah, for yes, oh yes, oh, oh. Um, we we cannot work in isolation, no, e even anywhere, no, and many of our programs, um, how do you call this? Col we we have to collaborate no? in the way we implement our programs and our projects in the region, so. We, we ensure na talagang closely ano tayo for with them and also through research no so in many of the regions we have good universities na ang focus nila ay on agriculture uh, on, on agriculture fisheries and all that so yan ang binibigyan natin din ng ng what they call this ng focus ngayon Pero ang pinaka maganda rin na dapat gawin no, is yung, yung SUCs or yung researchers should not also work in isolation. They should have constant dialogue with the industry that they are serving, like this, the, fish, the fishery sector, to know the needs ng industry and then do the research according meeting the needs or addressing the needs. Kasi hindi ka pwede mag-research na hindi ano after after you've completed your research it may not be used because it's not what the industry needs that's why uh, recently we conducted a dialogue uh, well a tripartite forum uh, Pichard initiated initiated this but we're more on um, on the the value adding of the wastes of the canning industry that we had, that we have in Eno. So we asked them, ano ba ang problema nyo ngayon when it, are, when it comes to the waste, of you, the, your waste, no? Of course they wanted value adding of their waste na, aside from having it just feeds, kasi it's not anymore that, uh, what do you call this, lucrative. So they want some other uh, value adding products from their fish oil baka pwedeng going ano and then probably the waste also would be converted to energy that's that's not far fetched no because that's so basic so sab it's just really a matter of putting together bringing down in a in a venue the researchers the uh, the, the academic researchers the industry and of course the OST, the funding agency, so that the needs of the industry are well, well addressed no, mm -hmm. through science and technology. Any final words, Pumam? This is our Taki Sabay Pai. Well, uh, we're, we're happy that we, ha we had this um, regional science, scientific uh, meeting here in the Vau. Uh, this, is, this will be the first in, in a series. The next one will be in Cebu and the last one will be in um, Baguio. Uh, we thank NAST, the National Academy for Science and Technology, for ensuring a well-organized um, meeting. I understand we have participants from all over Mindanao and we're happy for that. Uh, this is just the first step, I think, uh, because we will do a lot of activities where the regional office, region, the regions in general, will be the major players and uh, active uh, participants. Thank you so much, ma'am. Maraming maraming salamat. Ayan po. Of course, nakasama natin mga kaibigan. At magpapasalamat tayo and we are honored nakasama po natin under Secretary Brenda. At tiyak na maliwanag ang kinabukasan ng agham at teknolohiya sa ating mga rehiyon na wa ay patuloy nating tuklasin at pagyamanin ang potensyal ng bawat rehiyon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon.
The two-day Mindanao Regional Scientific Meeting of the National Academy of Science and Technology Philippines has been a big help sa ating mga kababayan dito sa Mindanao. Congratulations po sa NAST, DOST Region 11 at sa buong Mindadost para sa matagumpay na event. Isa lamang po ito sa marami pang nakahanay na programa ng NAST Philippines at ng mga DOST Regional Office kaya huwag itong palalagpasin. And that's it for today. Abangan din ang update sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 ng umaga at alas 5 ng hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key. Kaya sabay-sabay tayong makisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOST TV, the channel that delivers science for the people.